This is your Manchester United Daily News Roundup. In today's episode, we will take a look at the reaction to the 2-0 loss to Spurs at the weekend, all the latest transfer news, and of course we provide you with everything broken down into bite-sized pieces with all your latest Manchester United news in one place. So let's get straight to it. The 2-0 loss to Spurs on Saturday was tough to take, given we haven't played well in either of our first two games, so is there cause for concern as our atrocious away form continues? Spurs had more possession and seemed to physically outmatch us for most of the game. We had no control in the midfield, our front three were so ineffective, and what is even more worrying is we somehow didn't look fit. United did however outperform Spurs by 2.07 to 1.74 in terms of expected goals, so it shows just how badly we need a striker or for the other forwards to be more clinical. We also should have likely had a penalty because in the 26th minute our Ganacho shot on goal appeared to be blocked by Romero using his hand, but referee Michael Oliver awarded a corner instead of a penalty. Bruno Fernandes was not happy about this in his post-match interview. The last week they make a big thing on United uh, not being, not having a penalty against. I want to see what's what's going to happen this week. If it's if it's going to happen the same show that they did last week, uh, I want to see if uh, John Moss also comes to apologise to our dressing room, like like they said that uh, they did to the manager of Wolves. So let's see what those on Twitter are saying about the defeat. Journalist Samuel Luckhurst said Bruno Fernandes didn't play well, but he's entitled to wonder if John Moss will apologise to Manchester United over the non-penalty. As captain, he's also entitled to speak to the referee, who refused to engage with him. Fernandes still accepted responsibility for missing Manchester United's best chance. Sam Pilger, who writes for The Athletic and 442 magazine, said Ange Postacoglu had never won a Premier League game before today. Gary O'Neill only had a few days to prepare and yet both of their teams outplayed Eric Ten Hag's more settled and better stocked Manchester United side this week. That has to be already a major concern. One fan pointed out that zero away games won against the top eight sides since Eric Ten Hag took over. Honestly needs to have a tactical rethink, whatever we're doing is not working away from home and we can't be losing eight or nine games away. On a more positive note, in Manchester United's first two games of the season, we have created six big chances, resulting in an XG of 4.28, but unfortunately that's only returned one goal. A lot of our fan base may be overreacting to our poor start to the season, and Jack Fawcett on Twitter says, We're 12 months into a project. Be realistic. Ten Hag isn't perfect. He'll make plenty of mistakes, as does every manager. Give him at least the opportunity to correct them and improve, like literally any other fan base would. Moving on from the weekend and onto some transfer news from this morning, Simon Millock of the Mur has reported that Manchester United and Liverpool have both tabled contract offers for Ryan Gravenberch. Bayern Munich reportedly value the player at around 22 million, but more likely a compromise would be for the midfielder to be sent on loan for the season. In other transfer news, apparently Manchester United have asked about Benfica's German-born Greece international goalkeeper Odysseus Flacodimos. Manchester United apparently want a backup goalkeeper after Crystal Palace opened talks over a deal for Dean Henderson, who also has an offer from Nottingham Forest. Fabrizio Romano also confirmed today that Sofian Amrabat remains the top name in Manchester United's list for a new midfielder. May United want to add some more players? Here, a new midfielder remains the priority. Amrabat remains the top name in the list, so let's keep the Amrabat name there from a United. Not the only one, but one of the names for sure. Could we sign Gravenberch and Amrabat for a total of approximately 50 million? Let us know what you think about that in the comments below. In some other transfer news today, Rich Fay of the Manchester Evening News has confirmed that Manchester United have agreed a deal to sell Noam Emiran to Dutch side FC Groningen. And to wrap up the transfer news for this afternoon, allegedly Al Etihad from Saudi were in preliminary negotiations with Manchester United for Rafael Varane. However, the United Stand reported that they understand that reports linking Rafael Varane to Saudi Arabia have no truth to them. The player is happy at Manchester United. If you like this format of aggregator style news for all things Manchester United, please drop us a like and subscribe and we shall see you all again soon.